Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Pierce, uh, Medical Director of Skin Viva and Skin Viva Training here in Manchester. If you're considering a non-surgical nose job and want to find out more about the cost, um, here are some things to think about in, to help you make the right decision. Firstly, have a think about the difference in price between the alternatives and also some of the side effects and risks that you might consider. And the next thing to consider would be how long each one lasts, so the procedure itself, because that has, there's a lifetime running cost involved, um, and then also you could consider the recovery. So if we start with the first one, the difference between a non-surgical nose job and a nose job is approximately 10 times. So you might pay six to 700 pounds, uh, or five to 700 pounds for a non-surgical nose job, whereas it might be five to 8,000 pounds to have a surgical nose job. So the cost itself is quite considerably dif different. The next thing I'd say to consider as part of that is what are the satisfaction rates? Now, I've been informed that a surgical nose job has a, a dissatisfaction rate that's about 20%. And that is classified as 20% of people who are so disappointed by their surgical nose job that they wish to have it redone surgically. If you know anything about non-surgical nose jobs, you'll know how unpleasant the procedure is. Uh, and this just goes to show you how much of a, an upset it is to, have to, to actually want to have it redone. So I would think about that in terms of weighing up the pros and cons. How likely are you going to be to be happy with it? Um, what's the experience like and how much does it cost altogether? Obviously the benefits of a surgical nose job would be that if you are happy with it, that's it for life and you don't have to worry about it again. The benefits of a non-surgical nose job um, are firstly that it's obviously a less, less to pay right up front. Um, mostly they last 18 months. You can have benefit for up to two years in some people. Um, satisfaction rate is, uh, is pretty high and the great benefit is if you are unhappy with it, you can reverse it with a simple injection that will dissolve the product and you'll go back to how you were before. Or you might have an adjustment where you can actually monitor the process yourself and talk to your doctor and make sure that they are getting it just the way that you'd like it. Or if they are unable to do that, you have the chance of talking about it at length before you have the procedure. So in terms of controllability and getting details just right, non-surgical nose jobs are a little bit easier because there's less swelling, there's less trauma, and, the, and obviously the patient is awake so that you can communicate with them as you're going along. There are other things to consider about cost within the realm of within non-surgical rhinoplasty. So for some people you might need more volume. There are certain non-surgical nose jobs where we use a two mil treatment and certain treatments where you use a one mil treatment and in rare cases you might go all the way to three. And obviously these affect the cost uh, and uh, you're ranging between 600 and 1200 pounds uh, on average. The next thing to consider is how long does the actual product last? So we in our clinic only use longer lasting products uh, which gives you a financial benefit. So the treatment lasts, uh, if it lasts 18 months to two years compared with the filler that lasts six to nine months is effectively halving the running cost of the procedure. So I would consider how long the pr process, how long the result will last in when you're weighing up the cost. It's not just about the procedure itself. Um, certain dermal fillers last less long. Um, we actually prefer the longer lasting dermal fillers, not just because they last longer, but because they actually hold their shape slightly better. And even if you look at them at two months time, they will be a better, more consistent shape than the products that tend to, that tend to last less long. So there are multiple benefits for going for a slightly better quality product. To give you some advice on uh, how to choose a professional to do your treatment, um, I would say as a trainer um, that I've picked up that non-surgical nose jobs are, n are probably one of the hardest treatments to train people to do. Um, that's for several reasons. There's, there's an, an artistic element to getting a nose right, so there's just that instinct of what bit needs to be, tra needs to be changed. Um, it's very, very sculptural in its, in its process. So not all nose jobs are as difficult as others, but for many, you're actually trying to reshape a nose. So you are literally like an artist trying to, trying to create a shape of a human feature. Um, so not everyone, no matter how many qualifications, unfortunately, or how few qualifications in some cases, um, you can guarantee will have um, that artistic ability. So I'd say choose a company where you can see some good before and after results. Um, the next thing is, it is a higher risk procedure compared with many injectables. So it's still much safer probably than a surgical nose job, um, but make sure you choose someone who is a medical professional who should be able to reverse the procedure if they need to with minimal time. The problem with uh, non-medical people doing this treatment, which is occasionally um, available, is their access to the reversal, reversal agent um, might be a bit slower if they're even able to use it at all. 
Um, and I would say it's one of the areas that you need to be most careful of uh, having that backup of a clinical team who can react quickly and see you if it was to happen. So you should be able to tell that by looking at a website and looking for side effects and risks um, on their website from having a chat to the clinician um, and uh, most medical professionals I would say should be geared up if they've done this type of procedure they should be able to handle it. Um, be wary of non-reversible dermal fillers. So there are semi-permanent products that last 18 months or so and are often advised to be great for non-surgical nose jobs. And they might be when they all go well, but if you have a problem, um, then you're, you're much in a much more difficult position. So make, I would advise um, that you had treatment only with reversible dermal, pro dermal filler products such as hyaluronic acid. Um, so that's the other thing to consider. Is the clinic that you're going to providing reversible types of dermal filler.